Lies, braggadocio over dubious accomplishments, false accusations against enemies, taking credit for the work of his predecessor, this morning's tweets from President Trump had all the ingredients to be considered a near-perfect example of the president's defensive posturing against the storm of controversy and corruption surrounding his administration. Trump apparently felt that the best way to respond to the events of the week, a week where his overruling of intelligence agencies' recommendations to deny security clearances to his daughter and son-in-law was revealed, New York state regulators subpoenaed the Trump Organization's insurance broker, North Korea restarted its nuclear missile program, and a myriad of other damning events took place, was to attack and distract. The attack was aimed at his usual shibboleth, the media which he described in his typically hyperbolic and histrionic manner as the most hostile and corrupt media in the history of American politics, implying that his supposed accomplishments were achieved in some sort of battle with the press reporting on his administration's actions. Trump likely considers the media hostile and corrupt because it continues to perform its role in pointing out the truth behind Trump's exaggerations and lies, lies like the ones contained in his tweet's first sentence. For the record, there is no indication in reality that the current state of American political media is any more unfriendly to Trump than it has been to other presidents, and, in fact, he has an entire cable news network dedicated to praising his every word, something that no other president has ever benefited from. Trump's claim that the Trump administration has accomplished more in its first two years than any other administration is such a blatantly false boast that it garnered a wave of laughter at the UN when he tried to peddle that load of horse manure in a speech before the General Assembly. The list of accomplishments that the president then proceeds to cite seems more like an outline of issues that any eventual Democratic opponent for the presidency, assuming that Trump evades indictment and or impeachment long enough to run again, can utilize as a cudgel to bash Trump with during the campaign.